Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here. My name is Kelsey. Today we're gonna do a get ready with me, which I have not done in a very, very long time. It's been a while. So I saw a lot of requests on how I do my sleek bun and also just wanted to do an updated one of these. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna do like a sleek bun hair look. I'm gonna show you how I do that. And then we're also gonna do just like whatever is right now my everyday makeup routine. So I've just got my makeup here with me and um, we're gonna get ready with also Majori. We're also including Majori in our get ready with me. We're having a fun little moment with Majori. Um, is gonna help us accessorize our look. Majori is having a really great Black Friday sale, which I will tell you guys about. And if you guys know, I take my jewelry and my accessorizing very seriously. So let's do our hair first. And once it's all up and out of the way, we can go ahead and this is already what I'm wearing. I have this really cute like little sweater top. And yes, let's get started. So for the hair, this is the simplest hair look. This is the hair look that you do if you need to look your best, but you have like five minutes to get ready. Or maybe like you want to look really nice, but you're working with third day hair. Like it's one of those hair looks. This is one of my go-tos. I've been doing this hair look since I was like little. I basically call it a ballerina bun. Nowadays it's called a sleep bun. But when I did ballet when I was little, it's just a ballerina bun. So there are a couple different ways to do this actually before I get started. I'll put pictures on the screen so that you guys can see what I'm talking about um, of the different parts. So you can do a middle part, you can do kind of like a side part one, or you can do straight all the way back, which is usually my favorite. That's what I like to do. So the, this is literally all you need. Literally all you're gonna need is a hairbrush, two hair ties, and some sort of sleeking cream. So this is the one I have, it's a finishing cream. Anything like this, or just like this creamy nice sort of consistency, you can use hairspray if you want. I sometimes don't feel the need to. But yeah, anything that you have that's gonna just like holding flyways down, basically. Oh, and then also I use one of these. This is just a spoolie brush. You can use the one on the back of your eyebrow pencil. Just get a spoolie brush. So to start, basically we're going to do a ponytail first. I'm gonna take my hairbrush and I'm just gonna brush everything back and collect it into a very high ponytail at the back of my head. Um, don't worry about this being completely, fix my mirror. Don't worry about this being like perfectly and completely sleek yet. That's what the spoolie brush is for, for like little things and like all your little like baby hairs and flyaways. We'll get that in a second, but just do a high ponytail. You can do this again, play around with it. If you feel like this look isn't flattering for you, that's where the different parts come in. So like I said, I personally like the straight back. Sometimes I'll do a side part. Sometimes I'll do a middle part. I, it honestly just depends what I'm feeling that day. This just happens to be the one that I like the most. Plus I also think it's the fastest because I don't have to worry about like parting my hair or perfecting it. I can just brush it straight back. So I can literally do this hairstyle in like two minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of this in my fingertips, just like a little bit. And I'm gonna work this onto the ends of my hair so that there's nothing like fraying or flying. And I'm gonna twist my ponytail, just like twist it like that. So it's all collected. And then let me show you the back of my head. Take the twist and I'm going to just twist around itself like that. I don't, I hope you saw that. <laughs> I'm going to take the other hair tie and just put it like around the bun like that. Play with it if you want to make it a little bit bigger. Like sometimes I just pull it a little bit, not so that it's messy or any pieces come out, but just to kind of give it more volume and like make it more full the spoolie brush and a little bit more of this. Now, like I said, you can use like hairspray for this part instead. I like this a little bit better. So I'm gonna put it honestly just straight onto my hair where like my hairline is. And then I take the spoolie brush and I just brush everything back and into place. But before we get into the makeup, it's majority time. So I have so many cute pieces. I have a lot of pieces that we're gonna stack together today. The holiday season especially, very important to sparkle, ladies. Do not forget that. It's a little bit, you know, like winter wonderland, ballerina at the opera before Christmas. So speaking of the holiday season with Black Friday coming up, which I'm so excited now living in the city to do some amazing Black Friday shopping, Majori is having a Black Friday sale online and in their in-store retailers. So their sale is 20% off with a minimum spend online. The sale is going from the 24th to the 29th of November. And then their in-store retailers will be from the 22nd to the 29th of November. Majori has 14 karat gold, 18 karat gold, and they also have ethically sourced diamonds and gemstones. 
pounds. So let me show you all the exciting pieces I've got. Okay, so I got two bracelets here that I plan on layering today. Um, I recently got into chain bracelets. I never used to really be as much and you probably see me wearing them a little bit more like from my Instagram and stuff But I've got this one that has this little tiny, you know, I like dainty You know if you've seen my videos or my Instagram, I'm not too loud with things like I like to be very dainty with my jewelry So this piece has this gorgeous little sparkly Circle right in the middle, which is so pretty solo is just like a statement right there boom to catch your eye but I thought it would be pretty layered with this plain gold chain so I've got these two to go right next to each other like that so let me put these on this one here with the diamonds is 14 karat but I've been wearing Majuri for a very long time Majuri does not turn you green you're not gonna worry about it like rubbing off I've never had to experience a Majuri piece of mine like breaking or a stone falling off that has literally never happened with anything Majuri that I own and I own so many Majuri pieces um, and even ones that I've gotten like four or five years ago I still have and wear today and are perfectly fine and look the same as when I got them but you're not spending thousands of dollars on jewelry even though it's the real deal so it's very nice these would make great gifts honestly if you want to get like friendship bracelets <gasps> this would be so cute as a friendship bracelet I'm just not thinking that because I kind of want to get my best friend and I, this is a good idea. I kind of want to get like really pretty, like adult version, you know, best friend friendship bracelets for my friend and I for Christmas. This is such a good idea. I feel like she'd like this one. I might get that for her. On to the rings. You guys know I'm a ring girl. I wear rings every day. I have like my sentimental rings that I literally do not take off. So I got these two rings that sort of like go with the same style of the rings that I don't take off. That way I can keep wearing them and they have a little bit of sparkle look look at how they sparkle it's like the snow oh my gosh it's so pretty <gasps> this one's a little bit bolder this one's thicker like look at that oh my goodness she's beautiful <gasps> stop so we have this thicker one and then i just have this thin which just one line on the band of sparkles so pretty I think I want to wear them on the same finger I got them in the same size so that I could do that and have them and have them be both on the same hand I think that that's really pretty to have the matching so for the gemstone ring I thought I would have fun play around get a little bit out of my comfort zone this is the gemstone color that I bought I wanted to get this very like autumn very fall like warm toned rosy color Ooh, it fits my ring finger really pretty. Should I put it here? I'm playing around with the placement. Okay. <laughs> okay, now onto the earrings, which are my favorite part. So I right now just have my two bottom piercings. So if you guys have seen on my Instagram, I wear them all the time. My croissant, sorry about my American pronunciation. If I'm speaking English, I'm gonna have to say it like that. I'm sorry, but they have, which I don't know how I did not know about these before. I don't know if they're newer or maybe I just didn't see them on the site because I would have bought these so much sooner if I knew because I'm obsessed. They are like interlined on the weaving with the sparkle. Oh my gosh. So the other ones that I have are plain gold. These have all the diamonds in between. I like them because as you can see, they're like bigger. It's not like a typical stud, but I don't wear anything really, really large, like a big like hoop or anything to drop. Um, but I like wearing like a bigger earring more so than a stud when I have something like a hairstyle like this so that it shows and like brings attention to it more. I think it's really pretty to just have them dangling. So I've already gotten so many compliments on them because they're so adorable. So they are these little teeny tiny, they're so tiny, let me show you little teeny tiny studs they're like teardrop shaped but they have all these little tiny diamonds in the middle of them they're so so pretty but like even they're this tiny they're so eye-catching like you still like see the sparkle like it like gleams when i like turn my head and like i'll see it in the mirror and it'll just be really pretty so teeny tiny I love them okay let's move on to my makeup but definitely make sure I will have all the links in the description for the majority sale for the specific pieces that I'm wearing if you want to like steal my friendship bracelet idea I will not be mad and these earrings ugh, I literally have not taken them off I absolutely love them every single day I'm wearing these guys they're so pretty these rings the sparkle if you're into the gemstone these have different color options too so 
all of that will be in the description for you guys to shop have fun with the black friday sale okay ballerina bun in place sparkly majori in place now let's do our makeup i'm going to start off as always with moisturizing my face very essential um because i'm also not doing any foundation we're just going to do spot conceal so i'm going to do some lotion keep my skin hydrated and healthy i also sometimes use my moisturizer to help me push my eyebrows into place okay then like i said spot conceal so i'm just going to take my concealer and literally just do I do a dot under my eye and then one right at the corner and I sort of blend it upwards. And I have a beauty blender, but recently I've been using, I've been liking the ring finger, just blending that with my finger method. I don't know why I switched to that, but ever since I switched, I like just hate using my beauty blender now. Like I have to do it this way, but very gently with the ring finger. Cause remember your under eye skin is the most sensitive just blend that in and I use a concealer shade one shade lighter than my skin that way it just sort of like highlights and brightens the eye for now to bronze up a little bit because it is winter and I am pale I'm almost matching my sweater I'm gonna use a little bit of a liquid slash cream bronzer um, this is the radiance gel bronzer because of my dry skin in the winter I prefer to use liquid products. I feel like they just sit better on my skin So I'm just gonna do a little bit of that actually I'll do some up here too since the whole foreheads exposed But to add more color more of my favorite blushy rose color We're going to blush and I actually do two layers <laughs> I know that's a lot. I do two layers of blush I do a liquid and then I top it with a powder just so it lasts a really long time this is one of my favorite like mauve toned blushes you've probably seen me use this in a few other makeup tutorials before but it's just a liquid blush and i just do three little scores on each cheek and then i do one on the top of my nose and you will see this again at the end of the tutorial because i like to use this on my lips i like to match my blush with my lip color i go in an upward direction with my blush so i bring it towards the top of my cheekbone I'm just going to take a little powder florally blush. This one has like a couple different colors in it. <laughs> just like that. Apple of the cheek going up. Perfect. Okay. Now last for my face before we go into the eyebrows, I'm just going to use this little highlighter balm. Sun, please come back. Highlighter balm. I've been using this again. You've seen this in a bajillion tutorials. It doesn't really have like a shade or any glitter or color. It's just sort of like a dewy balm so i just put it on the top of my nose and i'm just gonna hit the top of my cheekbones and i take it under my eye as well where my concealer is so i'm gonna do a little hydration spray to lock everything in and then and then brows okay so for my brows like i said when i put my moisturizer on i kind of use it to like push up all my brows into place because i like to do like the soap brow method um but i'm still going to do that same spoolie brush and a little bar of soap and then i just sort of rub that on there and brush them up and then i'm going to go in with a little bit of a tinted brow gel and just do that at my ends or any place that needs a little bit of extra volume per se a little bit of soap on there and then just brush it into place. And this soap smells really good. It's like rose scented soap. And so if you get scented soap, it makes your face smell good. <laughs> so I use my rose scented, got rose scented eyebrows. Just a little bit more. Okay. I'm just gonna do, I'm gonna curl them and then I'm gonna take the current mascara that I like and I'm just going to Put it on my eyes. I know before in my tutorials, I always used to say, if you remember saying, I focus on like the outer edge to do like this winged sort of look to my lashes. But I discovered, I'm always the one saying like, oh, what you're naturally based with, like when it comes to like eyebrows or contour, that's what you should go for. Don't try to change the shape. Like most flattering is kind of what you already have to work with. So I started doing that same, taking my own advice for my eyes. Naturally, my eyelashes are like longest in the middle. And so instead of trying to focus on the outer part of my la my eye, I've started focusing my mascara on the center of my eye and it makes them look like a lot bigger and like really round. Duh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't think about that. So that's the only really difference that I have changed with my like eye routine lately. So I'm using a black mascara. I do really prefer brown mascara, but they actually discontinued my favorite one and I ran out of it. So I've just been using black for right now, but I do 
you know really prefer a nice like brown mascara i think it looks good with my eye color and it just looks really natural i think it looks more natural and i really like the look of having my lips match the same shade as my cheeks plus the blush that i use is a stain so it lasts a really long time but i like it to be super glossy so i'm just going to add like a nude lip gloss on top that's it so that is my everyday makeup look my ballerina sleek bun and my accessories and my little outfit like i said pants probably just gonna wear some black jeans with this um and yeah that is everything this is the finished look so like i said links will be in the description for you guys to shop majori once again make sure to check that out thank you so much to majori for sponsoring this video and gifting me all these lovely pieces and having this amazing sale for us to all have fun and shop on black friday but that is it i hope you guys enjoyed this little get ready with me if you guys want to see any of my other looks or anything like that feel free to comment that below and make sure to check out my instagram because i post all of my looks there obviously and i love you guys so 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 much and i'll see you in my next video Mwah.